Valdry Botta started off his career in 2013 with Williams at the Australian Grand Prix. The Flying Finn stayed at Williams for four seasons, leaving at the end of the 2016 season to join up with Mercedes. This list is focusing on all the drivers who came after his switch to Mercedes, and where are they now? Lance Stroll, Racing Point The 21-year-old Canadian driver came straight from F3 to F1, with his dad having a big role in that, paying Williams a hefty amount of money so his son can get a seat. Stroll spent two seasons at Williams, picking up a surprising podium in Baku in 2017, but the 2018 season was pretty s- terrible, only picking up seven points. But luckily for him, Force India went into administration and his dad bought them mid the 2018 season, and for 2019 he was guaranteed a seat there. Stroll is not particularly well liked in F1 community, so 2020 is his chance to show off that he is in F1 because of his talent. Sergei Sorokin, Renault reserve driver. He came into the team for the 2018 season. He didn't like that people were calling him a pay driver though, but he did bring in a reportedly 13.3 million. So I don't know if we can agree on you with that one, Sergei. He only scored one point in 2018 and was immediately replaced for the 2019 season. So for the 2019 season, he went to Renault to become their reserve driver and he still is there in 2020. George Russell, Williams. Probably the only driver who isn't at Williams for the money. George Russell isn't actually part of the Mercedes Muth program and is on the books of the German team in case they need a new driver. He had an unlucky 2019 season because the Williams car was just a disaster and he couldn't compete with anyone else other than his teammate. Though things look bright for Russell's future, Hopefully he can score his first points in 2020. Robert Kubica, Alfa Romeo reserve driver. After a long seven years away from F1, it was time for Robert Kubica to return. Unfortunately, he was only there for the money, with his Orlean sponsor bringing in a purportedly £15 million. Pounds. Scoring the only point in Germany for the Williams in 2019, it wasn't the return we all at all hoped it would be for the 35 year old. In 2020 Williams also replaced him and so Alfa Romeo took the opportunity to sign him as a reserve for driver. Nicholas Latifi, Williams. The only rookie on the F1 grid this season, it's going to be interesting how Latifi handles this challenging season. Latifi will be bringing in reportedly 30 million pounds which is just an unbelievable amount of money from one driver. He may be thought as a pay driver, but we still just have to wait and see in this 2020 season if he really is good enough to race against the best in the world. So guys, that is every Williams driver since Factory bought us left in 2016. Where are they now? If you enjoyed this content, there is a link in the description on the other two Where Are They Now videos. Thanks for watching guys, see you again soon.